Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this witch and we're working on a 16 by 20 canvas today. It's been primed once with acrylic gesso. We're going to begin by using this large number 50 filbert brush and these two colors prism violet and a light blue violet. So you can use other variations of these colors if you like, and if you're not sure which ones those would be, then you could just leave a comment or a question below this video, and I'd be happy to answer. So I just wanna make sure my brush is a little bit wet, and I'm gonna start off with my beautiful purple here. What we wanna do is just go around the edges with the majority of the paint, so most of the paint all around the sides here first we'll get that all covered and then we'll work our way into the middle going around making these round curvy brush strokes circular and then bringing our eye in drawing it into the center Without washing my brush off, I'm going to take my blue violet and I'm going to line it up partially on that violet, the prism violet. So we've got a prism purple violet and a blue violet. And I'm just going to start working that blue into the purple. And then we're going to make a continuous oval by spinning our brush around. I'm going to work my way out again. Making it really feel like it's fading in to the next color. Then some more white in the middle or blue in the middle. I was going to say I might add a little bit of white. Take the rest of this, picking up a little bit of that purple. Okay, so the idea is to just have dark to light that purple into that blue now I mentioned just a second ago I wasn't sure if I was going to add some white or not didn't think I was but I know that this is going to dry darker so I think I do want to come in here and just start twisting my brush around Push and twist with a little bit of that white. And maybe this is going to be, or it could be, a full moon. Okay, so now that this is all nice and dry, we can begin coming in with our witch. I'm using a little bit of black for her hat. I'll also be using some luminous orange and luminous yellow warm. Okay, so I'm going to start working on her hat first. And we're going to put her in the middle here. So I'm going to start her hat right up here. And I've got a number two round brush. I'll take purple. 
and a little bit of black because I've got lots of purple left and I like to um, change the tone up just a little bit when I'm using black. I like to add another color to it if I can. So we'll just do a line like this. And we're going to make it a little bit rounded on the end here. So we'll bring it up just slightly. And then over. And now we'll work on the top. And I'm going to take some purple with a little bit of orange this time without washing my brush off and we'll start her hair. Make this nice deep fudgy brown color. And we'll just start with this color first. Now she's not going to have uh, ugly hair, green hair, or gray hair. She's more of a pretty witch. So we'll give her some curls maybe and make her hair a little bit flowier. But just start with these darker colors first for the base. So her hair is coming off and over here and then her shoulders around this area here just below her hair falling and then her shoulder will be right about here. And then her back, her back side with some more curls and hair falling down. And then we'll just sort of skip that part there. Go down to her lower back side. And this will be how low her dress comes down. She has a very low back for her dress. And now we can start working on the color of her skin. And then, so I'm going to take my orange and my yellow. I will make just this light, very light, soft peachy color. And we'll just start adding. And at this point, if I pick up a little bit of that hair color, that's okay. Because she's going to have a little bit of shadow going on in her back from that hair, so that makes sense. And then right over top. We'll start with her shoulder first, and then we'll start coming in with hair around the side. From her shoulder down, see how it starts to come on an angle like this a little bit more, that's her elbow. And then her hand will be right about here. So her wrist, her elbow. And the rest of her hair and the front side of her. We can just see like just a little bit of it. add all that after and I'll start coming in with the first part of her dress we're gonna make it this color first and then we'll add the nice beautiful bright orange to it pumpkin colors we'll do the dress first and then we'll work on her hand grabbing and pulling part of her dress so it starts to come down right here straight straight line right here and then pulls over. So we've got this triangle here. 
going to go ahead and paint that in this dark color. Then we'll take a little bit of that orange and white and start the first folds and highlights. Just a few little lines like that. And then the back side of her dress, we'll pick up those colors again. Low down. Little shadow right in there. And then slightly out and then over. So we've got the shape here and a few lines. We're going to leave a space between this triangle and this section here. Go ahead and take my purple and my black. From here on a slow straight down but then it starts to go off on an angle because her dress is going to be pulling up and flowing around. Now down in like a little V or a little bird shape here and then across. I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush just so I can cover this up quicker and easier. I'm going to use my angle brush or dagger brush, either or, number 10. Pick up purple and black. I'm going to bring this over out just a little bit more so it's not completely straight down anymore. This part's going to start to come around. And then again, out to there. We're going to have some folds and some ripples. And it comes down here. Again, some little ripples, wiggle, wiggle, pull, curve. And then bring it up. So that's one side of our dress. Let's take some orange. I'm going to pour out or squeeze out some more orange in a minute, but this is going to be this deep, dark, burnt orange color and shadow. I get my brush just a little bit wet here. That's going to help loosen this paint up. And then right in here, we're going to catch a little bit of light it curves in kind of like a wave. And it's just going to be lighter right here. You know, when you have that curl of the wave where it just kind of glows and it's the brightest, same sort of thing here. Take a bit of white, my purple, black, and my orange. I'll come in here, start working on these folds.
same colors. So I'm gonna take some of that yellow warm. And we'll just brighten up some of these areas here before we come in with the other part of the dress. Okay, so now we can start coming in. I've got more orange here. I'll pull a little bit of this orange over top of the purple now. From her back side as well. And take a little bit of both of those oranges with a little bit of white. And then you can turn your brush down like this, pull and wiggle just have the folds of these dress or of this dress just sort of separated from the other parts of it so you just have sections of it so it has some dark shadows in between And then we're going to come down like this on an angle. And it just sort of gathers down here at the bottom. You can make it as flowy as you want, or even just have it sort of start to disappear off. But I'm going to come in while this is still wet, take my black and my purple, load my brush by pulling and turning to load both sides. Start adding some lines in here. This will help give us the illusion of folds. Grab more of that pretty orange. And we'll start adding it over here now. I'm gonna need a little bit of white just to make sure these colors um, last nice and bright once that dries. Otherwise, with all that purple and black, you're in the risk of it just dulling and looking really dark once it dries and you'll lose your highlights. Remember we've got our hand reaching back here, grasping the uh, material.
I'm going to take these same colors with a little bit more white this time and I'll add a little band around her hat. Start to wiggle with those same colors. Just for some hair. Now to make it show up here because it's really light back here, it would be a little bit darker more of a silhouette with all that light in front of it. So we'll make that just a little bit darker. Coming in with more of that skin color because now it's drying a little bit darker and I knew it would and that's okay it's expected so the wrist comes down here I'm just going to take a little bit of white on the tip of my brush Just a little something like that so it looks like she's grabbing some of that material and it's bunched up in her fingers. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of black now and just even this out. I'm going to lift this bar up so we can see the top of the hat because it's kind of in shadow from that bar, isn't it? I'm going to take a little bit of my blue violet on my filbert brush here and I'm going to add some highlights on her hat. So maybe just create some folds in here. A little bit of shadows, some cooler shadows on that band there. Now I can come in with my black and kind of just clean these areas up. And I'll go back into my white with a little bit of that neon yellow warm. Make this stand out a little bit more, so just make it brighter. And now I can come in with my filbert and add some more highlights on her dress, neon orange and white. So alternating with highlights, more highlights and saturation. So saturation is more of the color and highlights, I'll be adding white to the color. Highlight.
Put it back in here and add that light again. Then wash my brush off. And scumble to blend that out, fade it out into our dark shadows. I'm going to overlap the purple with just orange now. So again, we get a gradation. And then a little bit of a highlight on some of these layers in the folds. I'm going to take a bit of my blue violet here. And just go over her dress slightly a little bit right there. Bring these lines over here. Scumble for some of those ruffles down below. The material that's in her fingers. We'll have a little wide a wide patch here and then it's going to get narrower right down here. We'll fill that in with a nice bright orange, tinted with just a tiny bit of white. Then back over to the white, make a light highlight color, so just a lighter, few shades lighter. So line, line, light curving over, and then right in here, We'll bring these lines over a little bit more. They're going to dry darker over top of that purple. I'm going to take a little bit of purple, mix it in with that orange. Then black and purple. And where we're going to have the darkest area, it's going to be right in here. And it'll come slightly over part of that orange. With some little wiggles.
And then just a little bit of a shadow over here. Now I'm going to take uh, one of my favorite brushes for painting hair and lines. And this is, I'm sure you guys can see it. This is a, a rake fan brush or an even tail brush. And we can create all those little squiggles and waves for her hair by using this brush. So the trick is you want to get it wet. And we want to come in with our dark, the orange, purple, and black. We'll take a little bit here to build this up. Wiggle, wiggle. Lightly wiggle. Have it coming down. A little bit darker in this area. Sort of outline her wrist and arm area there. And then here on the other side, not for hair, but just for shadow. So you can quickly change the brush stroke and use this brush for other things while you have it. Gonna line up, pull. Now what I want to do is take a bit of that white with that black, orange, and purple mixture. And start adding some waves in here. So I'm actually using the end of my brush, wiggle, squiggle, and we can get some really pretty spirals And add layers so you'll add a little bit more white to some areas, right, that you want to show up. Okay, I like her hair. I'm going to go over her hat a little bit more and I'm going to use my little filbert brush here to soften some of these folds so they don't look as wiry. Orange, a little bit of white again. And with a clean brush, just go right underneath, clean that area off. Clean brush back to my highlight color. A little bit on the top there that's nice and bright.
Okay, now we can paint her broom. Oh, I'm really excited about painting her broom. Take this black, purple, maybe a little bit of orange that might be left there. And I think we'll have it coming from, we'll line up her hat and then make her broom kind of crooked and curved over. Okay, from behind her, let's kind of just line that up. Then fan out. Right in this area here. Gonna go in with some black. Add a shadow. And I've got a rake filbert brush that I'm going to use for some highlights on her broom. Just going to do a little thing like that. A few little wispy hairs like that. And back over to my filbert for that same color. I make this stand out even more with straight black. I'm going to apply this really thick so it dries nice and dark. And then I'll come over with, to make it make sure that it looks like her broom is behind her, or in front of her, I should say. I'll come over with a fresh coat of highlights right here in the front. By adding this little bit of dry brush of white over top, that's going to make sure it'll make the orange really stand out once it dries. So I could add a few more shadows down here and more roughly looking edges here to her dress. And 
maybe we could paint a bat. Yeah, there's a few bats flying around. So we'll come and go up and down. And then you just do those scoop, scoop, scoop. Push a little narrower body in here. So it's a little bit wider there, then push and then let off. I'm gonna go over this in black. I had a little bit of purple in my brush to start. And then we'll come up. Scoop, scoop. And they don't don't worry about trying to make them perfectly even. Two little dabs for ears. One on either side. I'm just going to use a liner brush now and I can add just a little bit of shadow here around her wrist and her fingers. So basically just outlining and then adding a few faint lines in there. And then lastly, some lines in here for her fabric. Scumbling over a little bit more of that prism violet. And I'll finish off with my final color before I call this painting done. So just straight paint. A little bit on her hat to finish it off. And a little bit of a glow on her hair. A little bit on the broom and I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. Don't forget to like 
this video and subscribe for more. See you all soon in my next video. Bye.